מתכבדת להזמין אל הבמה את מר מיכאל פוינט, מייסד ויושב ראש ארגון שווה ישראל. יושב ראש חבר הכנסת רוברט אילטוב ויוזם השדולה אשלי פרי. The timing of this event could not be more fortuitous. Precisely in these days when so many tears of sorrow are being shed throughout this land, it's nice to see that we're able to shed some tears of joy. and happiness when we hear the beautiful story of a young woman like Chana. This is an important event. This is an important initiative. And Chaver Knesset Ilatov and Ashley, who had the vision and the foresight to create this lobby, to bring this matter to the agenda of the State of Israel and the Jewish people deserve a heavy round of applause from all of us. For the past 15 years at Shavei Israel, the organization I established, we have been working with B'nai Anusim around the world. We're active in six different countries now with emissaries who work with the Anusim help them to reconnect with our people and with their heritage. As Ashley and others have emphasized, it's essential that we, the, the Jewish people and the State of Israel, reach out to the Anusim and engage them in all the various spheres. Some want to reconnect culturally, some want to reconnect intellectually, or emotionally, or religiously. However they choose to keep the Jewish spark within them alive is something that we should welcome and encourage and facilitate. We're not alone in this hall. I have no doubt that there are 500 years worth of Anusim who are here with us as well, who are looking on and marveling at the fact that finally, after all these generations, the Jewish people are sending a clear message that we have not forgotten them or their descendants. This week marks the anniversary of the passing of Don Yitzchak Abarbanel, known as the Abarbanel, the great biblical commentator, the great financier of King Ferdinand and Isabella, who was himself a witness to the exile from Spain in 1492, and who wrote very movingly about it in his commentary on the Tanakh. He also was witness to the suffering of the Anusim. And it's worth quoting just one or two lines from his commentary on the book of Yechezkel, the book of Ezekiel, chapter 20 where he says something that is both profoundly shocking and immensely prescient. And he says, Shilafi sheyye kibbutz ha-galuyot kolel l'kol adat Yisrael im le'otam she'amdu b'yahadutam ve'im le'otam she'avru al hadat. The end of days, the ingathering of exile, says the Abarbanel, will include not just our standard normative Jews that we all know. It will include all those who were forcibly torn away from us and taken from us. And he concludes, the lo yetse echad mitsono the am marito liot la am acher. Every single one of them will come back, says the Abarbanel. I want to call on the government of Israel to take a number of steps 
Professor Arad before mentioned how the college in Netanya is going to be opening a museum, and that is a blessed initiative. I think it is also incumbent upon the state of Israel, the government of Israel, to open a museum of the Inquisition here in Jerusalem. Yes. One that focuses not just on the past, but also on the present and the future of the Anusim. I call upon the government to support organizations that are out there in the field, working with the Anusim, facing the challenges of helping them to reconnect in an environment that is often not supportive and occasionally even hostile. If the Spanish government can find a way to issue passports and citizenship to the descendants of the Spanish and Portuguese exiles, I'd like to think that with all our Jewish creativity and brains, we can come up with some mechanism as well to reconnect them formally with this state and with this country. <laughs> History often begins with small steps. Today is one of those steps. It's a key step. So let's continue to march forward together because the issue of the Anusim does not belong to any one organization or any one individual. It belongs to the entire Jewish people. <laughs> Finally, to the Anusim themselves, I want to break my teeth for just a moment and say to you, a mis hermanos los Anusim, todos ustedes son parte de la familia judía. Nosotros queremos que regresar. We want you back. We want you home. Thank you.